Okay, for those of you that have never changed a drive before, this is my old server. Uh, I upgraded to an EX485. Uh, it's not actually that old. It's a two-year-old SC440 PowerEdge Dell, so it's a really nice server. It's just not an HP and um, takes up a little bit more power than uh, I need to be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this off, see if I can do it with one hand, and change out the drive. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to pop the side off. There's a thing in the back. So there we go. Okay, I have two drives that are down here. So I have my original drive and then I have my second drive. So I'm going to just pop off the SATA connector, pop off the power connector. The nice thing about Dells is everything's pretty straightforward, so it's easy to pull everything out. So, what I'm going to do is pull my drive out, and I have here a Seagate drive, which is the one that I put in, and this is a one terabyte drive I bought about a year and a half ago. So I'm going to come over here, set it on the table, turn on the light so we can see it, and actually unscrew it. Okay, now that I've unscrewed it, which you didn't see because I didn't have a screwdriver before I started this, all I'm going to do is pop off the sides, unscrew, pull out the screws. You can see that I've got them here. Flip the drive case over. You can see it's a plastic drive slide. And then just pop the drive out. So it's a little dusty, so I'm going to just wipe it off briefly. And now I'm ready to change. So now I'm going to come up here to my server, open up. I'm going to take out the top drive bay, which is the only one you can see that the lights are on for the other three. I have the 750 that came with it and then the two one terabytes. I set this down. And this pops down. Remember we showed you that originally. And only one side bends. You can see that this side bends, the other side doesn't. So what you want to do is when you put it in, you want to put it in first side in on the straight side and then slide it in with what bends. So what we do here is we put that in and bend that out and your drive will just sit right in there. Okay. So now I take my drive, I'm going to put it up in here, this is very difficult with one hand. Okay, I push in, don't push in on that thing. Okay, so now I've got it in, and we'll wait for the light to spin up. And there you go. You can see that the light is on. Turn off the lights up here. And you can see now that my light is flashing, showing that it's getting ready to mount the drive. Okay, now that I've added the drive, you can see I already have in bay one, two, and three, I already have drives. So I'm just going to click on this drive. I'm going to click on add and it'll take me through the add a hard drive wizard. Now I'm going to add this to the storage pool, so I'm going to click on next and delete all the data. Now before I disconnected from the other server, I would used the remove drive function so it had cleaned off all of the data, so there's nothing on this. I click on finish and now it'll go through format the hard drive, do a quick format, a quick erase, and it will add it to the storage pool. You can see I just went from 50% capacity to 63% available, and everything has been added. Now it's done. Now one of the things I can do is I can go into my disk management. You can see that I have an empty drive bay up here, so now I'm going to go through and add that in using the wireframe setup. So I'll go to settings. 
I'll go to Disk Management, Edit Current Wireframe. I have this drive up here. Okay, I can edit the selected drive bay. Okay, uncheck Empty. Choose the only drive path that's left. Click on Arrow. I don't need to give it a name. I could if I wanted to, but I don't need to give it a name. You can see it's Seagate. There's the ST number. Click on Forward, and there you go. Click on OK. Click on Apply. You can see it turn blue over here. Click on OK, and now I have all of my drives. And as I click on each one of these, you can see it turns green based on which ones. So 750, 1 terabyte, 1 terabyte, and the 1 terabyte that I just moved over, which was totally blank.